I sit by that window every night and watch, you know? Maybe one day she'll be walking by. 13 years after Tanya Nipanak went missing, family members and supporters marched the streets of Winnipeg, as you can see behind me, calling for justice. And for the first time in years, celebrating what would have been Tanya's birthday. In October of 2012, Winnipeg police started searching the Brady Road landfill for Tanya Nipanak. However, she was never found, leading to Tanya's aunt Sue Caribou holding yearly vigils, which have been focused on a call for justice. This year's walk has greater meaning, as Caribou says it's the first time they have celebrated her birthday in 13 years. Today, I'm taking back my beautiful niece's birthday and I'm going to celebrate her life. These are children. These are people that have gone missing and, and these families need closure and it's so important that, that they at least have that because they no longer have their loved ones. The march, which started at Ellis and Sherbrooke, made its way all the way to the Odina Circle at the Forks where handwritten notes were thrown into the fire for Tanya and a cake was presented for her birthday with candles blown out by her aunt. Happy birthday, dear Tanya. Acting Grand Chief Betsy Kennedy spoke about what today meant as she was part of the search at the Brady Landfill in 2012. I came here today just to let, let them know that I still because remember her. How much she means to me. Caribou says while she appreciates that a search is taking place at the Prairie Green Landfill, she hopes the province will go back to the Brady Road Landfill and research for Tanya. To me, all the landfills are a crime scene. I'm pretty sure most of our missing and murdered people are at these landfills. In Winnipeg, Mitchell Ringo's City News.